Hello everybody. In this demonstration I'm going to show you how to add an image in Canvas and add alternative text to that image. So here we have a page where I'm instructing students on how to photograph lightning. There's the basics here and there's a little list of what they need to do. And below this I want to add a image. So I'm going to make a space here underneath this list. And there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, for this demo, I've downloaded the image onto my computer, and I'm going to upload it here below this list. So to do that, you're going to go to the right, and you'll see these three tabs here, links, files, and images. You can guess which one we're going to click on, images. Next, you can choose the file by clicking choose file, and then you're going to locate on your computer where that image was downloaded to. This could be in your downloads folder. Uh, for me, I downloaded it to my de desktop. It's called lightning.jpg. So we'll click on that. Click open. And you can see on the right, it now gives me the name of the image file right here. And it automatically opens up this alternative text box where I can describe what's happening in the image. There's also a box I can check for decorative image. So if, if the image really didn't have anything to do with the content, I could select that and then basically a screen reader would ignore that image and save the students some time. But because this image does have to do with lightning photography, I'm going to write some alternative text. And here's what the image is. I need to describe what's going on in this image in a kind of a short way that doesn't include words like image of. We don't need to tell the screen reader that this is an image. It will automatically tell students that this is an image. This is a, a young man or a boy standing in a parking lot watching this lightning storm. So that's pretty much what we're going to write. I'm going to take this text and just type boy standing in parking lot at night watching a spectacular lightning storm and then I can select upload And now Canvas has put this image into the page. It's a little big, so I'm just going to click on it and pull on the handles, make it a little smaller. So there it is. So now I've, I've uh, shown you how to upload an image and add alternative text. There's another way you can add images and alternative text simply by selecting the embed image icon in the rich content editor. That's this icon here. Looks like a mountain there. And from here you can link to a source on the internet. You can go into your canvas files if you've already uploaded an image. Or you can select uh, Flickr and search for a Creative Commons image. So if, if we just looked up lightning and click search I'm sure they're going to come up with a lot of images. So I, I could have done it this way and just uh, selected one of these. And you can see when I click on one of these images, it'll fill in some alt text here. Uh, sometimes it's not that good, depending on which image here. So what I would do in this situation is add um, a little more description than just plain old lightning. So this one you might want to say, uh, or, or maybe this one here, you could say lightning uh, striking strikes a tree in a field, something like that. And then at the bottom click update, and then Canvas will insert that image with the alt text. Uh, the third way is if you already have images, let's say you created this page 
uh, a while ago and you weren't thinking about the alt text, if you want to add alt text in at a later date, you just go into that canvas uh, area where the image is and click on the image and click the embed image button here in the rich content editor and that'll again open up the alt text and you can change it, update it, make it a little more relevant to your students if it's not descriptive enough, etc. Or if it's a decorative image you can click this box and then it'll be ignored by the screen reader. So I hope this uh, demo has helped you with uh, adding alt text to your images in Canvas. Thanks for watching.